we've been handed a phone number, all right? And we have been told that this phone number is the hospital mm. where Kate Middleton is currently staying. Now, we don't... We thought we'd give it a call. We don't want to cause any trouble. Yeah. We don't want to. We don't want to stress her out because she's doing it tough. Yep. But I reckon we can maybe get her on the radio tonight. Look, I don't know. I mean, everybody would be trying. Well, this. Well, this this is why I thought of a a plan. We can't yeah. just ring up and go, "Hi, it's MC and Mel from the Summer Thirty. Can we chat to Kate?" Hang up. Not going to happen. Yeah. You are going to be the queen. This is awesome. I'm going to be Prince Charles. I'm the queen. Ben and M, you're involved in this as well. Uh, we thought that maybe you could be the, the, the royal corgis, if, if you're okay with that. <laughs> yes, exactly. Sure, we'll so, pop on in we'll in a come sec. In. Come into the studio. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to dial this number. This is fun. Oh, I mean, this is fun. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to be the queen. Hello, I'm the queen. Hello, Prince Charles over here, mummy. Oh, you're mummy. Prince Charles. Mm-hmm. I like your ears. And <laughs> Ben and M are going to be the royal corgis. So let's... um, okay, let's let's Let's... Give this hospital a call okay. and see if we can get Kate Middleton or maybe even Prince Wills on the phone tonight. So okay. the number, the number's going in. Oh, jeez, I hope this happens. Hello, good morning. King Edward is going on, please. Oh, hello there. Could I please speak to Kate, please, my granddaughter? Oh, yes, just hold on. Um... Thank you. Are they putting us through? Yes. <laughs> if this has worked, it's the easiest prank call we've ever made. <laughs> Your accent sucked, by the way. I just want you to know. <laughs> I'm not used to playing old 80 year old. Kate, my darling, are you there? Um, good morning, Mum. This is uh, the nurse speaking. How may I help you? Hello, I'm just after my granddaughter, Kate. I want to see how her little tummy bug is going. Mummy. She's sleeping at the moment, Mummy. and she Mummy. has had an uneventful night, um, and, and sleep is good for her so as, as we speak. She's been getting some fluids to rehydrate her, because she was quite dehydrated when she came in. Um, but she, she's stable at the moment. OK, I will, I'll just feed my little corgis then. Um, so what, when is a good time to come and visit her? Because I'm the queen, so I need a lift down there. A uh, Prince Char- uh, Charles! Mummy, is everything well, okay? Oh, wait, my Charles, when can you take me to the hospital, when Charles? Will, when, when will it be all right to come down and see her? Maybe maybe in the morning or something, if that's okay. I would suggest that any time after nine o'clock would be suitable because the doctor will be in in the morning. Okay. And we'll just be getting her freshened up in the morning. Uh, I would think any time after nine. Wonderful. And oh. is, is Wills is Will still there? Has he gone home? I haven't spoken to him yet. He went home at about half past nine last night. No, actually, probably about nine o'clock last oh, night. Okay. Okay. Lovely, but they're all yes. okay. Everything's all right. Yes, she, she's she's quite stable at the moment. She hasn't had any retching with me since I've been on duty, and she has been sleeping on and off. Wonderful. I think it's difficult sleeping in a strange bed as well. Yes, of course. It's hardly the palace, oh, is it? It's nothing like the palace, is it, Charles? No. And when are you going to walk those bloody corgis? <laughs> Mumsy, I'll go and take the dogs outside. I need to go visit Kate in the morning, my dear. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> she has given us real information. Mumsy, I think that they believed everything <laughs> that we just said. I am the queen. Bow for me. Uh, bow for me. Bow for you and your terrible accent. <laughs>